When we started Transatlantic Trends 2009, we anticipated that there, we might find a certain degree of anti-Americanism in Europe fed by frustration over the economic crisis. Uh, certainly, uh, there's a lot of evidence that much of the recent economic crisis originated in the United States. Uh, we thought there might be a resentment we'd pick up in uh, Europe because of that, and that this might manifest itself as anti-Americanism. In fact, we did not find that. Uh, what we did find, though, was a certain reluctance uh, to deepen the transatlantic relationship. So while, on one hand, uh, the economy is an issue that did not bark, uh, in terms of uh, transatlantic relations. On the other hand, it did have a certain residual effect. There is overwhelming confidence in President Obama's international economic management. Both Europeans and Americans uh, have faith in him to do what is right to deal with the economic crisis. There is strong support on both sides of the Atlantic to pursue fundamental economic reform. There is no real disagreement on that between Americans and Europeans. And there is strong support for a, an essential regulatory role for government in the marketplace, although that support is certainly stronger in Europe than it is in the United States, probably reflecting a historic hesitancy about the role of government in the economy that ex has long existed in the United States and may be showing itself in this data as well. But still, it's important to note that two-thirds of Americans do see an essential regulatory role for the government in the economy. However, only about half of Europeans desire more U.S. world economic leadership, whereas, not surprisingly, 85% of Americans see that as good for the world and for the United States. There is not a great deal of support, however, for closer U.S.-EU economic ties. Only half of Romanians and Spanish support that. And in all of the other countries we surveyed, uh, less than half of the public is supportive, deepening and broadening the transatlantic economic relationship. This may reflect the fact that people think it's already uh, strong enough, but it may also reflect a certain hesitancy about getting too close to the United States uh, after what has happened in the economic crisis. This data, however, shows that there are some challenges ahead in terms of how we address the problems created by the economic crisis. People on both sides of the Atlantic overwhelmingly believe in a free market system, but the intensity of that support is felt most strongly in the United States, where 54% of the public agree strongly that people are better off in a free market economy on the European side of the Atlantic, barely a third to a quarter, in some cases only a fifth of the public, feel that a free market economy is best and feel that in a strong fashion. This in part reflects historic differences about the approach to the free market. Europeans have always been somewhat skeptical of market economics, Americans less so, but this also reflects, we think, some disillusionment after the current crisis. In terms of what to do about the immediate crisis, over half of Americans already think that their government has spent too much on the economic recovery. Most Europeans still think that their government has a way to go in terms of spending. If we have a double-dip recession, if in fact our leaders have to go back to the public to ask for more money to stimulate the economy, it is the Americans who are likely to have more trouble selling that policy to their publics. Europeans may find that their publics, who do not believe that their governments have already spent too much, may be more amenable to that if necessary.